Well, time to talk again about the exploits that are already a proud part of regimental history and exchange a joke or two. And say again. Mrs. Mackay was there too. Her presence a tribute to the comradeship that, as she said, makes the Paras one big family. Corporal Jeremy Phillips, mentioned in dispatches, described the attack that led to him needing this most modern of surgical braces in his arm. He's moving up to uh, the top of Mount London to take out some artillery, the Argentine artillery. When uh, stray mortar round, Argentine mortar round came over and uh, caught us out in the open. It uh, caught me in the arm. Got my friend in the leg, uh, one lad in the neck. And another lad uh, died who got it in the head. One posthumous award of the military medal to Private Richard Absalon of the Patrol Company. Two awards of the military medal to Sergeant Fuller of B Company and to Corporal Bailey also of B Company. Gathered on the training field to hear the full list of decorations, three Paris Colonel explained that many others recommended for awards had not got them. They are representative awards because it is simply not possible for every soldier to end up with a medal. Now, there were two awards of the Distinguished Conduct Medal to Colour Sergeant Faulkner, the medical sergeant, and to Sergeant Pettinger of the patrol company. And I think we should all applaud those awards now.